Well, no doubt you've noticed this if you've been outside. The heat is just unbearable lately as we enter the dog days of summer. Can't forget, of course, what that means for our actual dogs if they're going to be outside during the hottest parts of the day. So let's talk about all that we need to know. Joining me now to chat on this topic, we have veterinarian and owner of Veterinary Rehabilitation Hospital at Quartet, Jennifer Jones Schultz. Jennifer, thanks so much. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, absolutely. Happy to be here. Excellent. Well, we appreciate you taking the time. So we know it's been so hot lately. What can happen if someone leaves their dog outside for too long? Yeah, we're definitely seeing an increased risk of heat disease and heat stroke from dogs that are outside without shade or water or owners who normally exercise with their dogs and are used to going on runs and they just can't cool off fast enough with this heat. Um, you know, dogs can't sweat the way we do. They have to cool down by panting. And so, you know, as hot as it is, they really don't need to be out and exercising um, when it's hot or out in the sun without shade. They really need to come inside in the air conditioning, particularly if you have one of those really cute smush face dogs um, that have an even harder time than the uh, dogs with a longer nose. So, okay, so we'll watch out for the shorter nose dogs. Um, for any dog, are there particular signs that they will start to show when they are being impacted by the heat? Yeah, absolutely. You need to watch for your dog that's panting and, you know, can't breathe with their mouth shut. Their tongue will get really wide and long and at the end kind of flares out almost like a shovel. And that means that they're really trying to release as much heat as possible. So make sure to offer those dogs um, water frequently. If your dog's tongue is widening out like that, absolutely bring them inside and let them cool off in the air conditioning. Yeah, I think folks forget that dogs don't have sweat glands in the same way that humans have sweat glands. And probably not absolutely. as many, if I yeah. remember correctly. Yep, absolutely. They don't sweat the way we do. They overheat much more easily than we do. Um, not all of our breeds of dogs are designed for North Carolina heat. So I think, you know, we hear about, oh, dogs getting left in hot cars. Actually, what we see much more is just dogs outside exercising with their owners and get too hot or they're walking on pavement and they burn their little paw pads. That is a great segue into our next question because our chief meteorologist, Brad, is always talking about the seven second rule where you wanna like touch the pavement and if you can hold mm -hmm. your hand for longer than seven seconds, then we know that the, the pads of the dogs can walk on it as well. But let's just say it's not, it's not cool enough for them. Would you recommend maybe putting booties on or is there something else that they could do if they have to go out on the pavement? Yeah, I mean, most dogs aren't going to tolerate booties very well. They they do that cute high stepping thing where they're just trying to get the booties off their yes. feet, right? So, you know, if you can walk them in the grass, even that's if that's next to where you're walking, um, you know, if you have to walk them across something, but if it's hot and you're going to be walking on a lot of pavement or concrete, that might not be the best place to take your dog um, just because of, you know, we don't want them to be sick. We don't want them to need emergency care. Yeah, so true. <laughs> Some great advice. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for taking the time. Absolutely. Um, we want to keep them out of the emergency rooms because right now um, all the emergency rooms in North Carolina are really backed up with patients. So do everything we can to keep them healthy and at home. I know pet care is so in demand right now. High demand. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hope you have a great weekend. You too. Have a great one. All right. Thanks.